is Scott Golding here with the Golden Opportunities Personal YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you who are seasoned veterans of what we're doing here. Actually, this is the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel, but to get a plug in there for Golden Opportunities, because that's my main uh, channel. In any event, if you're looking for life, relationship, or business-related coaching, we would love to be of service to you there. Just throwing you a bit of a curveball. Anyway, uh, this is the WCW Saturday Night Review Series. Uh, this is the 11th of um, March edition. Uh, notice these have been shorter because there's less co quality content in 95 on the WCW Saturday Night Program, and that continues through the end of the series in 2000. A lot of um, squash matches is just about all there is in that world at the time, and um, certainly not something that a lot of people are into, but we're covering it anyway just because we want to have the most complete process available for your uh, viewing and listening pleasure. In any event, uh, this will be super short because it's only about 38 minutes or so. Um, Nick Bockwinkel basically sanctioning the continuation of um, the uh, fines and suspensions against Vader as he goes into his... Um, uncensored strap match with Hulk Hogan. Of course, Ric Flair loses the match. Yes, Ric Flair loses a match between Hulk Hogan and Vader, only in WCW where nobody wants to actually do business. Um, Randy Savage and Bob Starr in a super quick squash match. Savage with a, with a body slam on the top rope elbow, and that's about it. Uh, Savage is going into a match with Avalanche and basically says that he is going to take him out at a whole nother level for the first time. In a long time, and Savage is obviously at the peak of his promo uh, nature. Ric Flair heightens up, and he promises this is the end of Hulk Hogan, end of Hulkamania, and end of anything associated with Hogan. Of course, we're moving towards the uncensored pay-per-view, uh, and really, probably, the it is the first uncensored pay-per-view. Unfortunately, it's not the last. Uh, this is the show where... Um, Dustin Rhodes gets let go because he is not given the ability to, um, you know, kind of starve off his uh, nature. And uh, Bobby Eaton and William Regal uh, going at each other. Uh, Bobby Eaton kind of wants Regal's approval. Regal eventually turns uh, Eaton into a blue blood over the next couple of weeks. That's where that goes as a tag team. Uh, and obviously some people like it, some people don't, but they were a good team for the Wild, the Blue Bloods, pretty big deal. Uh, blacktop Bully, Punch Kick, Axe Handles, and the like, uh, in an enhancement talent, talent match, getting ready for his run with Dustin Rhodes here in 1995. Of course, they do the, uh, um, match in the back of a black, a, uh, flatbed truck, choke out by the Blacktop Bully. Both guys get let go because they are... In fact, bleeding when they aren't allowed to be, supposedly. Uh, Bully had sent uh, his opponent into the ring post on the outside, but that's where that continues and ends. In any event, Dust Wonderkin, Alex Wright, um, is there. And again, kind of a basic deal here. Arn Anderson challenging Alex Wright, or Alex Wright challenging Arn Anderson for the Television title, Boxer vs. Wrestler, is uh, where we're going with Bad and uh, Anderson. Anderson with a body slam goes to the top rope, and uh, Wright manages a drop kick off the top rope of Anderson, and then Anderson certainly goes flying. Anderson back into the ring and goes right after his opponent. Uh, flying head scissors by Wright. Actually, a match worth seeing because Arn Anderson paces it, and Anderson slows things down. Tries to snap the man over with a snap mare, but uh, drags him into the uh, rope area, and Anderson kicking away at him. Looks like Alex Wright's going to get a victory here with a crossbody off the top rope in the short term. Uh, at, Colonel Robert Parker gets in the way here and uh, interferes, leading that match not to end in the way that uh, Alex Wright would prefer, uh, and also a... Enhancement talent match, which runs about two minutes, with Vader and Ric Flair and Vader both promise that, in fact, Vader will dethrone Hogan at uh, the 
uncensored pay-per-view in a couple of weeks. But Vader manages a clothesline, a choke slam, and a power bomb for his trouble. As we close this particular episode, until next time, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.